Westchester, Ohio. Is it the best suburb in the Cincinnati area? Some people feel like it is. I know one thing's for certain, the housing in Westchester is in a big demand. It's one of the most desirable places to live for people relocating to the Cincinnati area from other cities. In this video, I'm gonna break down everything there is to know about Westchester, Ohio, and maybe by the end of this video, you'll have an answer to that question. Is it the best suburb in the Cincinnati area, or maybe even the entire state of Ohio? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. We're getting into it right now. What's up? It's Victor Fam. I'm a full-time realtor in the Cincinnati metro area. I'm helping people all the time buy or sell real estate in the Cincy area. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Cincy or the Cincy suburbs, feel free to reach out to me. I'm sure I can help you too. If you want to know what it's like to live, work, play, eat, and chill, in the Cincinnati area and the Cincinnati suburbs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic. All right, let's start a little bit on the geography of Westchester. It's about 18 miles outside of the city limits of Cincinnati. So it's not actually in Cincinnati, it's its own municipality. They have their own police force and governing system. The population is about 60,000 people and Westchester covers about 36 square miles. Just to kind of put that into perspective, the actual area of Cincinnati is about 80 square miles and there's about 300,000 people in that 80 square mile area. So Westchester's not a tiny town if you think about that. 60,000 people in 36 square miles. That's a pretty good chunk of land. I mean, it's not huge, but it's definitely not a tiny town. It probably take you a few hours to walk from one side of the town to the other, unless you're in really good shape. I don't know, maybe you could do it a lot faster. Then again, it's a really sparsely suburban area. Not all of Westchester is very walkable until you get into the residential areas or the shopping centers or restaurant areas. There's a lot of industrial space and jobs out there and Westchester runs off of three different exits from Interstate 75, which I think makes it very convenient. So you'll get a lot of vehicle traffic areas because of how sparse and scattered the suburban areas are. Here's a fun fact about Westchester. It sits in an area called the Cincinnati Arc, which stretches from Illinois all the way up to Michigan. And that arc historically has been one of the best areas in North America to retrieve fossils because much of the area, mainly the Miami Valley in Ohio, used to be at the bottom of the ocean. So if you're digging up some stuff in Westchester and you come across some fossils, it's probably because it used to be on the ocean floor. All right, that was my nerdy science moment. Special Officer Doofy. What about the history of Westchester? How was it settled? Well, Cincinnati sits in Hamilton County, but Westchester sits in Butler County. Up until the early 1800s, those counties were actually combined into one and it was all considered Hamilton County. It was divided and Butler County was broken off and formed as its own county and they named it Butler County after General Richard Butler who was considered a revolutionary war hero at the time. And I guess he was like running around revolutionizing stuff. Now for some time after that, this area in Butler County was a part of Liberty Township which is right next door until one day in the 1820s a group of people decided, hey, we don't want to be a part of your township anymore. We're breaking off and we're going to call ourselves Union Township. And this is what Westchester was referred to for over a hundred years, Union Township just into the year 2000 when the residents voted to change the name to Westchester Township. So on paper, the city has only been Westchester for about 20 years now. I guess that's kind of a cool thing to brag about if you're from Westchester, right? Like, hey man, I'm not from no old 300 year old city like you. My city's only 20 years old, technically. The name is young, but the history is not. What about the cost of living? What does it cost to live in Westchester? The median home price in Westchester is gonna be about $310,000. At the time of this recording, the cheapest single family home on the market in Westchester is $235,000. The most expensive home on the market, 1.1 million. Damn! So you'll see a lot of houses in Westchester at the $500,000, $600,000 mark. You'll get some really beautiful layouts and floor plans in Westchester. I mean, Westchester is such a desirable area that the builders do have a hard time keeping up with the inventory because so many people want to live in Westchester. And with the resale homes and short stock, people are ready to pay more for those new constructions. 
But you know, eventually you're going to run out of land. They've been building a lot in Westchester. Not sure how much untapped land they have left. The good thing is that the market is starting to slow down very slowly. So hopefully the inventory increases soon. The median household income is about $100,000, although you have a lot of people making well into the six figures. I'd probably argue that many people are much more well off than that because in order to qualify to buy a $500,000, $600,000 house, you got to make some pretty good money. I mean, you don't necessarily have to be wealthy to live in Westchester, but I would say it's probably not a place you want to try to move if you're having some financial turbulence in your life. Help me, I'm poor. You're probably going to be anywhere from 900 to 1300 to rent a two bedroom apartment, depending on the amenities the apartment provides. Could be more than that, especially if you're getting into one of these newer apartment units. Rental prices have gotten pretty high in the Cincinnati area. I tell people all the time, don't expect the rental prices to go down. They're probably either going to stay where they are or go up. They usually don't go down. It's funny because the value of a house can go down, but rental prices typically don't weird thing. Outside of that, the everyday costs like groceries, gas, supplies are going to be really similar to the general Cincinnati area. And the Cincinnati area, honestly, is one of the cheapest places to live in the country, which is a big plus if you're in an area like Westchester, where the housing cost is a little bit higher than closer to the city. So it kind of offset those costs for you. I talked a lot about the cost of living in the Cincinnati area in some previous videos that I've linked in the description below. If you're curious about that, another important topic is schools. What's the education like in Westchester? That's important, right? If you're considering moving to a new area, you want to know what the schools are like. Kids got to get their education. Edumacation. Edumacation. Westchester is going to fall into the Lakota School District, which is highly considered the best school district in all of Butler County. There are 10 school districts in Butler County and Lakota School District, which services Westchester residents, is considered number one. And I've noticed that that alone is a, a big selling point for a lot of buyers in my experience. No matter how expensive the area is, the schools a lot of times sell people. A lot of these schools are shared with the Liberty Township residents because it borders Westchester. Remember when we talked about how Liberty and Westchester were once joined before they broke off? A lot of these schools sit in both territories, so both townships are serviced by that one school district. So all that's pretty great information to have, but what is there to do in Westchester? Is there anything fun to do in Westchester? Like I said, it's definitely a suburbia type of place, very little crime, but there are some things to do, especially if you like some good eating. Bravo Italian is one of my favorite places to eat when I'm out there in Westchester. It's right over there next to the AMC movie theater and Top Golf. If you're a golfer, that's a good stop. They have a really cool driving range and a bar inside. Pretty cool experience. My wife and I love it over there at the Liberty Center on the Liberty Township side. Beautiful layout, very walkable and family friendly with some great restaurants, all kinds of shopping if you're a shopper. You can just shop your head off if you want to. Bars, green space, place for smaller kids to play. And one of my favorites, the funny bone right there in the middle of liberty center next to the roosevelt room really cool comedy venue if you like stand-up comedy we've been there quite a few times on the westchester side there's also the voice of america park that's a huge park used for a lot of sporting events my son was in a soccer league over there we played many games at the voa it's got a lot of green space kid and dog friendly i know at one time they did a lot of water sports there if you're into that entertainment junction is also in westchester one of the biggest train displays i've ever seen in my life i've taken my kids there quite a few times over the years if you're a beer drinker you can check out grain works brewery pretty popular spot for a drink i think they do live music there on some nights as well the main event fun center is also up there you can go in there and just go crazy with the kids or with the adults adults like to be goofy too <laughs> and there's also quite a few parks in addition to the voice of america park if you're really into parks i know we are parks are a big part of our lives here in cincinnati they offer a lot of solace sometimes crazy world you know sometimes parks can help you find some peace so there's plenty to do in Westchester and that Liberty Township zone. That makes it really convenient. You don't have to go too far or like travel all the way back down to the Cincinnati city limits in order to find something to get into. Overall, what would I give Westchester as far as a rating on a scale of one to 10? I would probably go nine and a half. Especially if you want that suburban experience. Not a bunch of crazy stuff going on. Very well-rounded place and a lot to offer, Westchester Township in Ohio. If you're looking to make a move to Cincinnati or the Cincinnati suburbs, I'm sure I can help you with that. Feel free to reach out to me. If you enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything new. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Westchester. Thanks for watching and remember when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic.